Welcome to my channel and let's have a look at my half-finished Magic Mouse Springtime coloring book. When I just got it in the end of winter, I was sure that during three spring months I will manage to finish it, because designs are small, I really enjoy coloring them, I already have one color palette for the mouse and for the worm, so everything was uh, talking about at least one finished coloring book. But no, it was wishful thinking, and so far, even if I dedicated a lot of my free time to this book, I managed to finish only probably slightly more than half pictures here. But that's okay, I don't want to rush myself. For me it's important that each of these pictures I colored with big love and I always had very good mood after coloring pictures here. But unfortunately uh, in the end of spring I need to switch to summer book because it's also absolutely adorable and I also want to color it. So maybe this one will have to wait a little bit. At least I really want to start coloring in summer and if I want to return from time to time to spring book, I will do it. So <laughs> probably the most complicated, the most difficult pictures here are those with animals. So I colored only this mouse with darkling and I really love it. But maybe I mostly love it because of the, uh, this um, purple sky with a little bit of lavender and a matching color of the mouse head. Duckling also is adorable, but somehow the landscape around um, it's what makes this composition really interesting and I would even say tender. Oh, I really need to do this one. Maybe if I return to this book um, in summer, I will do this one, because that's adorable. It was one of the first pictures which I did here. Of course, I did it for the uh, St. Valentine's Day, so I started it even in winter. Oh, shame on me. And I still didn't manage to finish it. Anyway, I do love it. I deliberately selected very intense colors for roses as a main element here. And the rest of flowers I tried to do in more pastel colors. So roses would be much more intense, so they immediately attract attention. And I wanted to do a warm light behind the mouse. Maybe they were having some nice cozy evening and here we have this surprise delivery of love letter and flowers. This one I did with addition of one Arctic pencil, a very beautiful um, Mayan violet I believe. Very nice color, one of the best colors in Arctic pencils scent. And here I tried to have some fun with all those <laughs> smiley round birds. Um, I wanted to do one bird slightly lighter, one slightly darker. Yes, here we have not enough feathers, but still it's adorable. And I decided that one will be like a parrot bird. And of course, the smiley face of the mouse, it's priceless. That's one of my favorites. Here I mixed uh, Arctic pencils and Prismacolor pencils. And I think that it was one of my first experiences with Arctic. They are not perfect on this paper, at least for the mouse fur. I definitely wouldn't be able to use them. But for the bigger areas like this cook head or background, they are quite acceptable. So if you want to save your more precious Prismacolors, you can use them together with Arctic. Here I colored almost everything, again, except for the fur of mouse uh, with uh, Sue color pencils. Sue colors are not bad here, but for the lighter colors, like this background, maybe you need to use them either with a white Prisma color or with blender to cover paper a little bit better. But dark colors, they behave on this paper really well, so they are probably my second choice for this paper. A 
This one was quite fun. I did it very quickly when I was quite tired after work, so I wanted something really quick without additional thinking. So I can't say anything apart that it simply helped me to spend half of, um, uh, of an hour with very pleasant picture without big problems, without um, thinking about color palette. Oh, I wanted to do two pictures with gardening mouse because we have some kind of story. Here they started the journey to gardening and I have another page where they started to plant seeds. But unfortunately that picture I didn't have time to color. Maybe I really need to return to this book and to finally finish the story. But I really love all these details, especially the uh, mouse clothes here of all, with all those additional patches of fabric. I decided that this background uh, could represent early morning. Maybe they started their journey quite early to manage to plant seeds during morning. Anyway, it was quite fun and the outfit of the mouse is one of my favorites. And of course, adorable worm in head that's also priceless. Well, I think that here I experimented with Star Joy gold pencils again for the background. For the mouse, as usual, I use all my uh, favorite colors. It's Bersienna, 50% French grey, 90% French grey, plus actual, plus light uh, amber and clay rose. If you watch my videos, you probably notice that everywhere now I color mouse with the same color palette. In Christmas book I experimented here. I stick to one color palette. I even keep them in one separate pencil case. I call it pencils for the mouse and it really helps me to color very quickly. That's also one of my favorites. I do love everything here. I'm glad that I experimented a lot in this book with various colors of skies. For example, here it's cream plus shades of peach and orange. And of course, I do love the face of the calf here. And I also tried to experiment with various colors for the grass. If in more realistic books like Teresa Kutrich landscapes, I wouldn't use many of such color combos for the realistic pine trees. Here I can color in more cartoonish style and I do enjoy it. That's another one where I decided to experiment with colors. I called it Spring in Pink and I was inspired by real trees which were blooming in our parks. They had quite unusual this black cherry or even black grape leaves and um, lighter pink flowers. Maybe it was some kind of plums. I'm not sure what it was exactly. <laughs> I'm not a botanic specialist, but fl when they were in bloom with such unusual color of the leaves, they were spectacular. And of course, when I remembered about this page, I realized that I need to do it. And here for the background, I also used Star Joy, but older set, which I prefer a little bit more on this paper for the background. They feel less waxy and they cover paper better. Oh, I really wanted to do this one. I don't know why I hadn't colored it. Of course, when it was Easter, I did a couple of pictures. One wasn't very successful, but this one I absolutely love. Again, more fantasy colors for the leaves and a tender pastel color for the sky. I am glad that I did matching colors for the head and golden egg and this tiny halo of shining around the egg. It helped to attract more attention to the central part of the page. And I do love how a Morgan depicts those baskets. They look very... I don't know. They look nice. Simply nice. Another experiment with the background color. Here it's not a problem to use pencils for the background. Even on this quite average paper I didn't have any problems with coloring, so I'm quite satisfied with paper in this series of the books. Uh, so mostly I used here Prisma colors only on the leaves. I used uh, Arteza. Yes, greens from Arteza. 
that picture which somehow I forgot to color and I think that second part of the gardening story. Oh well. Well, I was quite proud when I finished this one, again because I decided to experiment with background colors and I think that such unusual background created very nice contrast to the color of the lamp, fur of the lamp. Um, it wasn't very easy to show actually the texture, but white Posca helped me when I worked with it on top of various beige and gray colors. And mouse here. So fun. Uh, I love it. Another one with chickens. I think that chickens probably are the most popular birds for me in this book. Somehow I didn't learn yet how to color all. All by all, since this book they look like they are drawn or wet. But chickens, they look okay. I definitely enjoyed that they had fun together, they were running. I imagine that maybe they are uh, trying to cover from rain, so that's why I decided to do such dark color of the background. Maybe they expect rain to be pouring soon. Anyway, it was fun again to do something interesting here on the background. I decided to make it like a border between something where uh, we have planted something and simple grass. So that was field and that was grass. Well, that was like explosion of colors because I used everything when I did this beautiful garland uh, above the window and it was so fun to do this carrot cake. I hope that they enjoy this evening or afternoon tea. And to show that it's afternoon, that's why I did such a color behind the window. Oh, that was also quite fun to do. Again, here um, various pink, peach and lavender colors from Star Joy set helped me to do the background. And they, then it was interesting to select green colors for the heads, for the cords and look at the worm. But maybe here my heart was stolen by the bug in this head. Absolutely adorable. I'm glad that I managed to do it almost to St. Patrick Day. Another one where I experimented with Arctic pencils together with Prisma colors. Again, Arctic went mostly for the floor, wall, some of the furniture, and mouse was colored with Prisma colors. Another experiment with Arctic. When I started to do it, somehow Arctic pencils looked brighter on this paper comparing to what I got on my swatch card. So when I did this pavement with stones, I was so unhappy that I had to cover initial colors with another layer of darker brown to mask intensity of colors. But in the end, when I added these stones and quite muted calm bluish gray on the wall here. I decided that actually I do love the final look of it, so it definitely <laughs> requires some additional learning how to work with Arctic pencils. That was also quite a simple one. When I started to do it, I only knew that I wanted to do a yellow background and that I wanted to color those shells. Mm. When I did it, I wasn't sure if it was the right choice to do such color for the bushes behind. Then I decided to experiment more with this color of the leaves. Together with traditional leaves, I did this, those black grape. And I think that in the end, it at least it created something different. I really tried to be more experimental with my color palettes in this book. So, even if pictures are quite simple, I think that... Even from them I learned something new. This one I did when I watched some beautiful photos of uh, wisteria blooming and I decided that maybe I can turn this picnic near the water also 
inter picnic under wisteria tree so that's why part of the leaves i simply colored with lavender and violet colors i think that it made picture more interesting comparing to the simple area of green leaves and of course again they are so fun together this one is sitting on the back they are sharing their food great just great and finally my probably least successful picture here mostly because uh, i really feel bad for the poor owl for the owl that i don't know maybe I selected not right colors for the feathers from the beginning. Then I tried to save it with Posca, but still, all it look looks like it wet. I don't know, or something even worse. But together they really have fun. I decided to mask a majority of ornaments on the egg and to leave for each of them one area so this one has green ornament this one has orange footprints this one has the main red area so i also tried to add some uh, story behind this one so each of them has individual paint and they try together to create a masterpiece anyway yeah that's all you can see that i did probably slightly more than half of the pictures and um, pictures which are left they are more complicated because they have animals i definitely will try to return to this book if i wouldn't have my summer and autumn books i would simply continue to color in the spring but maybe it would be beneficial for me to switch to the summer book for a little bit and from time to time to return to this one and i hope that still even during summer I will be able to do at least a couple of pictures here. At least, thank you for watching. I am very glad that these videos they are popular on my channel. And I am very grateful for, to Morgan for creating such books. I am glad that I purchased almost all books in this series. They really help me, even when I, when I am in very gloomy mood, when I am tired. I always can color here and it helps me to... To feel better anyway thank you and i hope that very soon we will start to color in summer book